Your next phone could survive a few more of these. If it's covered in Gorilla Glass 6, Corning has just announced its next generation Gorilla Glass, and it's supposed to withstand drops of up to one meter, or about hip height, 15 times. That's about two years worth of drops for the average consumer, making it twice as durable as the previous Gorilla Glass 5, at least according to Corning. As good as it was, Gorilla Glass 6 is better. It drops at higher heights, but more importantly, for repeated drops at one meter, the company showed us how they torture their glass to get it ready for prime time in their labs in Silicon Valley. First, your traditional drop test, with this machine that's able to drop it at an angle. No surprise that the curve is the weakest link on the glass. The company said they tested Gorilla Glass 6 up to 2 meters, as high as this machine goes. They also have the tumble test to mimic the most hazardous environment of all, the purse. The phone gets put in with cosmetics, keys, and coins to see just how scratch-resistant the glass is. And my personal favorite, the Super Slapper. This pendulum mimics the impact and is measured in joules of impact energy. But even Corning admits that the design of a phone can play a huge part in how fast that phone breaks. So we'll have to conduct some tests of our own once they hit the market, which could be very soon. We've been sampling them for, for some time now and they're actually designing Gorilla Glass 6 into their products that will launch later this year. Does that mean the Note 9, iPhone 10 Plus, Pixel 3? Maybe. And it's not just about making glass durable. Corning is also changing the look of Gorilla Glass beyond this year's devices. This is matte glass, and it makes fingerprints significantly harder to see, because matte is the new black. And this one even has texture, which mimics the design that it's on. And for wearables, they've made something called a DX Plus Composite, which can be applied to Gorilla Glass to reduce reflections and help prevent scratching. Beyond that even, flexible screens, which Corning is already testing out as well. We have done glasses down to 100 microns, which is 0.1 millimeter, about the thickness of a sheet of paper, and can go thinner than that. And these glasses can bend within five millimeter radius, so about a quarter inch radius. So as you talk about foldable and flexible displays, that's about the range of fold or bend that people are interested in.